ಎಲ್ಲರಿಗೂ ನಮಸ್ಕಾರ ಎಜುಕೇಷನ್ ಆನ್ ಕ್ಲೌಡ್ಸ್ಗೆ ಸ್ವಾಗತ ನನ್ನ ಹೆಸರು ನಿಮಿಲಾ ಸೊ ಇವತ್ತಿನ ಕ್ಲಾಸ್ನಲ್ಲಿ ನಾವು ಸೆಕೆಂಡ್ ಪಿ ಯು ಸಿ ಬಯಾಲಜಿನ ಲಾಸ್ಟ್ ಚಾಪ್ಟರ್ ಆದಂಥ ಎನ್ವಿರಾನ್ಮೆಂಟಲ್ ಇಶ್ಯೂಸ್ನ ಕೆಲವೊಂದು ಇಂಪಾರ್ಟೆಂಟ್ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ಸನ್ನು ನೋಡ್ತಾ ಹೋಗೋಣ ಸೊ ಫಸ್ಟ್ಲಿ ದ ಮೋಸ್ಟ್ ಪ್ರೈಮರಿ ಇಶ್ಯೂ ಇಸ್ ಅ ಪಲ್ಯೂಷನ್ ಸೊ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಅನ್ ಅನ್ಡಿಸೈರಬಲ್ ಚೇಂಜ್ ವಿಚ್ ಇಸ್ ಬ್ರಾಟ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ಕೆಮಿಕಲ್ ಪರ್ಟಿಕ್ಯುಲರ್ ಮ್ಯಾಟರ್ ಸೊ ಸಾರಿ ಪಾರ್ಟಿಕ್ಯುಲೇಟ್ ಮ್ಯಾಟರ್ ಆರ್ ದ ಬಯಲಾಜಿಕಲ್ ಮೆಟೀರಿಯಲ್ಸ್ ಟು ಏರ್ ವಾಟರ್ ಆರ್ ಸಾಯಿಲ್ ಸೊ ಯಾವುದೇ ಒಂದು ಅನ್ನೆಸೆಸರಿ ಮೆಟೀರಿಯಲ್ಸ್ನಿಂದ ನಮ್ಮ ನೀರು ಗಾಳಿ ಮತ್ತು ಮಣ್ಣು ಇವು ಈ ಮೂರು ಕೂಡ ಬಯೋಲಾಜಿಕಲಿ ಚೇಂಜ್ ಆಗ್ತಾ ಹೋಗುತ್ತೆ ದ ಚೇಂಜ್ ವಿಚ್ ಇಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ನೆಸೆಸರಿ ದ್ಯಾಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಕಾಲ್ಡ್ ಪೊಲ್ಯೂಷನ್ ನಾವು ಏರ್ ಪೊಲ್ಯೂಷನ್ ಸೊ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಅ ಕಾಂಪ್ಲೆಕ್ಸ್ ಡೈನಮಿಕ್ ನ್ಯಾಚುರಲ್ ಎಂಟಿಟಿ ವಿಚ್ ಇಸ್ ಎಸೆನ್ಷಿಯಲ್ ಫಾರ್ ಸಪೋರ್ಟಿಂಗ್ ಲೈಫ್ ಆಫ್ ಅರ್ತ್ ಸೊ ನಾರ್ಮಲಿ ನಮಗೆ ಗಾಳಿ ಬಹಳಷ್ಟು ಮುಖ್ಯ ಆಗುತ್ತೆ ಸೊ ಇಫ್ ಯು ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಫ್ರೆಶ್ ಏರ್ ಓನ್ಲಿ ದೆನ್ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಆರ್ ಲಂಗ್ಸ್ ಬಿ ಹೆಲ್ದಿ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ವಿ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಬಿ ಹೆಲ್ದಿ ಆರ್ ಹೋಲ್ ಸರ್ಕ್ಯುಲೇಟ್ರಿ ಸಿಸ್ಟಮ್ ಇಸ್ ಗೋಯಿಂಗ್ ಟು ಸ್ಟೇ ಹೆಲ್ದಿ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದ ಹೋಲ್ ಲಿವಿಂಗ್ ಸಿಸ್ಟಮ್ ಇಸ್ ಗೋಯಿಂಗ್ ಟು ಸ್ಟೇ ಹೆಲ್ದಿ ಸೊ ಏರ್ ಪೊಲ್ಯೂಟೆಂಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಅ ಸಬ್ಸ್ಟೆನ್ಸ್ ವಿಚ್ ವಿಲ್ ಕಾಸ್ ಹಾರ್ಮ್ ಟು ದ ಹ್ಯೂಮನ್ಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಅದರ್ ಲಿವಿಂಗ್ ಆರ್ಗ್ಯಾನಿಸಮ್ಸ್ ಸೊ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಸಮ್ ಇಂಪಾರ್ಟ್ ಸಮ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಕಾಮನ್ ಪೊಲ್ಯೂಟೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಏರ್ ಸೊ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಎನ್ ಓ ಎನ್ ಓ ಟು ವಿಚ್ ಇಸ್ ನೈಟ್ರೋಜನ್ ಡೈಆಕ್ಸೈಡ್ ಸಲ್ಫರ್ ಡೈಆಕ್ಸೈಡ್ ಎಸ್ ಓ ಟು ಕಾರ್ಬನ್ ಮೋನಾಕ್ಸೈಡ್ ಸಿ ಓ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಸಿ ಓ ಟು ಕಾರ್ಬನ್ ಡೈಆಕ್ಸೈಡ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ವೊಲೆಟೈಲ್ ಆರ್ಗ್ಯಾನಿಕ್ ಕಾಂಪೌಂಡ್ಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದ ಪಾರ್ಟಿಕ್ಯುಲೇಟ್ ಮ್ಯಾಟರ್ ಸೊ ಪಾರ್ಟಿಕ್ಯುಲೇಟ್ ಮ್ಯಾಟರ್ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ದೀಸ್ ಪೋಲೆನ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ಅನ್ನೆಸೆಸರಿ ಪೋಲೆನ್ಸ್ ಸೊ ಕಂಟ್ರೋಲ್ ವಾಟ್ ಆರ್ ದ ಕಂಟ್ರೋಲ್ ಮೆಷರ್ಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ದ ಬೆಸ್ಟ್ ವೇಸ್ ಅಫಾರೆಸ್ಟೇಷನ್ ಸೊ ನಾವು ಮರಗಳನ್ನು ಗಿಡಗಳನ್ನು ಕಟ್ ಮಾಡೋದನ್ನು ಕಡಿಮೆ ಮಾಡಿ ಕನ್ಸ್ಟ್ರಕ್ಷನ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ಸ್ಟೆಡ್ ಆಫ್ ಮೇಕಿಂಗ್ ಇಟ್ ಅ ಕಾಂಕ್ರೀಟ್ ಫಾರೆಸ್ಟ್ make it a greenery forest this is the only way we can control it air pollution will cause severe respiratory disorders in humans and other animals and will also affect the plants and it can be controlled by the following ways one do fittings smoke stacks and smelters with filters to separate pollutants from the harmless gases and particulate matter can be removed by using electrostatic preceptors so precipitators and it contains electrode wires which are maintained at several thousand volts which can be produced i mean which will produce electrons so these will cling to the dust particles and give a net negative charge and uh, they are attracted by the collecting plates which are grounded and now the velocity of air which will pass through the plate should be low enough to i mean to pull out all the dust so this is how collection plate is grounded which is electrostatic precipitator precipitator and a scrubber which can be used to remove gases like the so2 wherein the exhaust will pass through a spray of water or lime so this is the scrubber next vehicular pollution can be reduced by using less pollutant fuel such as cng which is more efficient and less costly with compared to petrol and diesel and in 2002 all of the buses were switched to cng in delhi and this was indeed uh, led to a fall of pollution levels in the city so ili the most polluted city was delhi in 2002 so they switched the buses all the uh, normal public transports to the cngs so that it's it had a greater fall in the pollution levels in the entire city and all vehicles which can be fitted with con- sorry catalytic converters which have metals like platinum palladium and rhodium as catalyst can also be used now these catalysts will carry out the following conversion so what will they do they will unburn ca- hydrocarbons will burn and become co2 and h2o carbon monoxide wherein it will ultimately give carbon dioxide and nitric oxide will become nitrogen gas next is unleaded petrol so this must be used with catalytic converters as presence of lead in the petrol will inactivate the catalyst so ಈ ಪೆಟ್ರೋಲನ್ನು ಕೂಡ ಈಗಿನ ಕಾಲದಲ್ಲಿ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಇನ್ಸಫಿಷಿಯಂಟ್ ಸಪ್ಲೈ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಅ ಗ್ರೇಟರ್ ಡಿಮ್ಯಾಂಡ್ ದ ಬೀನ್ ಮಿಕ್ಸಿಂಗ್ ಇಟ್ ವಿತ್ ಲೆಡ್ ಸೊ ಇಟ್ ಶುಡೆಂಟ್ ಬಿ ಮಿಕ್ಸ್ ವಿತ್ ಲೆಡ್ ಸೊ ದಟ್ ದ ಕೆಟಲಿಸ್ಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಗೋಯಿಂಗ್ ಟು ಅಬ್ಸಾರ್ಬ್ ಬಟ್ ಇಫ್ ಲೆಡ್ ಇಸ್ ದರ್ ದ ಕೆಟಲಿಸ್ಟ್ ಕೆ ನಾಟ್ ಆಕ್ಟ್ ಆನ್ ಇಟ್ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಅ ಗ್ರೀನ್
Now concentration of these gases has increased because of the increased industrialization which has led to the heating up of earth's surface which is global warming. Now this has increased the temperature of the earth which results in the changes in earth's climate and during last century the temperature of earth has increased by 0 0.6 degree centigrade because of pollution. Now this increase in temperature is ultimately believed to cause the melting of polar ice caps and rise in sea level and submerging of the coastal areas and greenhouse effect can be controlled by reducing the use of fossil fuels which produce greenhouse gases on burning and afforestation and efficient energy usage etc. Next main important pollution is the water pollution which is very much essential for the maintenance of life on earth. So water again is a very much essential component on earth to live beings. Now due to human activities water bodies have also become polluted all over the world not just here or there. So some common pollutants and sources is the domestic sewage it, is main, it mainly consists of organic matters which are biodegradable and microorganisms which are involved in the degradation consume lot of oxygen and the BOD of the water body is increasing leading to the death of fishes and aquatic life. So in after the microorganisms who sick up at oxygen and uh, consume at the so the BOD of the water is getting more and this is leading the uh, BOD is the biological oxygen demand of water so this is leading to the death of fish and aquatic species and sewage which also consi consists of many pathogenic uh, microbes has be, uh, been causing the outbreak of many diseases like the typhoid jaundice nowadays now next is industrial effluence this is the most worst cause here so industrial effluence consists of inorganic toxic sub -o industrial effluence which is industrial effluence consists of inorganic toxic substances which may undergo biomagnification which is increase in concentration of toxic at successive tropic levels so this toxin will get accumulated in body of an organism and then it is passed to the next level for example DDT and other heavy metals like mercury cadmium etc next is thermal wastewater discharge so it is heated water flowing out of the thermal power plants increase the temperature of the water bodies and this will eliminate cold water species and promotes only warm water species so in longer run it will cause the damage to the indigenous biodiversity of the water body so in agate a warm water species increase aakta aakta cold water species complete agi decline agate now next is eutrophication so it is the aging of water bodies because of nutrient enrichment of its water and it can be natural or artificial a natural process will take thousands of years but because of human activities this process has got accelerated and the cultural eutrophication has become more now release of nutrient rich sewage and industrial effluence will lead to introduction of nutrients like nitrogen and phosphorus and increase in the temperature of uh, BOD of water bodies and this is caused increased biological activity thereby leading to the algal blooms so this will result in loss of indigenous flora and fauna ultimately and in some cases large masses of floating plants like the bog will develop and they finally convert the water body into lands now control of water pollution so what can be done raw sewage can be treated using biological and other means of um, removables to remove the solid suspended and inorganic materials before it is being released back to the environment and nitrogenous fertilizers can be denitrified using microbes which can convert nitrate into nitrite in gaseous nitrogen by a process called denitrification now integrated wastewater management so which is the practice in Arcatica and California in this approach the water is first treated by conventional means like filtration sedimentation and chlorine treatment followed by the bioremediation so this is marshes which have appropriate plants bacteria fungi and algae were uh, seeded which assimilates dangerous pollutants like the heavy metals so these were seeded so that these are going to consume those uh, metals heavy metals 
Now next is the solid waste, the waste which we create consists of all the unwanted undesirable materials which are thrown into our dustbins. So it has been uh, um, repeatedly given instruction that we have to separate the dry waste and wet waste but ultimately we fail doing that which is again causing pollution in our environment. It may be composed of biodegradable and non-biodegradable waste. So open dumps which are used for disposing solid waste will serve as breeding grounds for rats and flies. Therefore sanitary landfills are used as substitutes for these. So biodegradable waste can be either aer aerobically or anaerobically broken down into microbes. I mean in broken down using microbes. So now the non-biodegradable waste are recycled, reused or dumped in the landfills. So hospital waste will also contain hazardous materials which have to be disposed properly. So these are generally incinerated and they are burnt. And irreplaceable computers and other electronic goods which make up the maze, waste which are either dumped in landfills or they are also incinerated. And e-waste, they can be recycled and also recover metals like copper, iron, silicon, gold, etc. And to use plastic waste in an efficient way, poly blend, a fine powder of recycled modified plastic has been developed. And when poly blend is mixed with but bitumen, it can be used in the lay roads, which greater water repellent capacity and greater life. Now agrochemicals and radioactive waste. So agrochemicals and you know the increased use of pesticides, fertilizers for the increasing the produce, I mean product and the farming sinally has led to the eutrophication and biomagnifications in the water sources. In order to check this the concept of organic farming is increasingly becoming popular and in this technique instead of using chemical fertilizers and pesticides natural materials and techniques like organic mineral uh, manure which is the cow dung manure or the compost or biological pest control which are again the microbes and crop rotations are done and this will lead to balanced soil which will not cause soil infertility but this will cause rejuvenation of the soil okay now next is the radioactive waste so nuclear energy is a non-polluting energy except the threats posed by accidental leakage and difficult disposal of radioactive waste. So these radioactive wastes are highly dangerous and radioactive substances will cause severe damages like mutations and cancer in lower doses and higher doses can be even lethal. Okay. So lower doses nally adu cancer cause madate, but at higher doses it is lethal and it causes death. So these wastes should be suitably pretreated pretreated in the shade condition containers which are buried under rock surfaces about 500 meters under the earth's surface now improper utilization of the resources so uh, this is the main reason for pollution we are not using the uh, resources properly and then we are overusing it or we are not at all using the ones which are available easily. So now natural resources can be degraded by improper use. So one the soil erosion and desertification. So over cultivation or over grazing, deforestation and poor irrigation techniques will lead to soil er uh, erosion and desertification and water logging and soil, soil salinity which is lack of proper drainage which leads to water logging and this will affect the crops and also leads to the increase in the salinity of the soil. Now ozone depletion and deforestation. So ozone depletion, this is that ozone layer is found in the upper part of the stratosphere. So this is the main uh, region wherein it, I mean main layer which protects the earth from harmful UV rays which are obtained from the sun. So now high energy UV rays will break the bonds within the molecules like DNA and proteins. So ozone is formed by the action of UV rays and oxygen molecules and its thickness is measured to as Dobson units. Now ozone layer is depleted by the action of CFCs which is chlorofluorocarbons which are found in refrigerants and perfumes. So CFCs are acted upon by UV rays in the stratosphere which will liberate the CI atoms which act as catalyst to degrade ozone into molecular oxygen. Now ozone depletion is particularly greater in Antarctica resulting in the formation of large thinned ozone layers which is commonly known as the ozone hole. 
Now UV rays are shorter wavelength causing skin cancers, mutations in cellular DNA, snow blindness and cataract deficiencies. Now check this ozone to check this ozone depletion, monetrial protocol was passed in 1987 to control the use of substances which cause ozone depletion was spread out. Now next is the deforestation which is the unlimited cutting of trees and conversion of forests into cultivatable land. So in the beginning of 20th century India had 30 percent of its area under forest which was reduced to just 19.4 by the end of 20th century. Now deforestation is a result of number of human activities like increased population and demand for land. So now trees are cut for timber, fuel and also for slash and burn agriculture also called as a jump cultivation. So in this trees are cut and the plants will remain in forests which are burned since the ash acts as a fertilizer. So some of the major effects of deforestation are the increase in carbon dioxide levels, loss of habitat for wild animals, soil erosion and consequent desertification. So deforestation can be controlled by reforestation or afforestation and in 1980s concept of joint uh, forest management was introduced by government of India. So this was supporting the local communities which was taken for conservation of forest and in return the local people were free to use the products which were obtained from the forest. So Kadu Janangadavarge they were free to use the forest environments and they were supposed to protect the forest ultimately. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs>